Large chains like Walmart, Trader Joe's and even Costco are making that announcement today, but others like Pick and Save still say no masks, no service. New at 10, Stephanie Haynes shows us the decisions being made by local business owners. This is considered busy for Twisted Plants in Cudahy. They've been curbside only since they opened in May 2020, in part because they are remodeling their dining room. Once it's open sometime this summer, owner Brandon Hawthorne says he now has to figure out what to do about masks. I think we're going to leave it as a personal decision. Uh, we'll be enforcing our employees to wear them. Uh, no, not at that time we won't. New guidance from the CDC indicates fully vaccinated people can ditch the mask in most cases, except in some crowded indoor settings like public transportation or if a city or business requires it. Just doesn't seem real yet, right? Andy is one of the owners of X-Ray Arcade just down the street. He says he's not easing up on any restrictions quite yet. Keeping it as long as we can, as long as we feel comfortable. Um, you know, the story changes <laughs> it's day by day, right? So we're just trying to do what we can to make what makes sense for that given day. The CDC says more than 35% of Americans are fully vaccinated and DHS data says it's close to 39% in Wisconsin. The question is, how far do you have to go to prove you're vaccinated? If a business is simply doing that on the honor system, how do I know that Everyone I see without a mask on has actually been been vaccinated. Attorney Eric Eisenman says for employers, they can ask to see an employee's vaccination card, have them sign an attestation form or go by the honor system. You're already hearing some questions. Is it discrimination to require a non vaccinated person to wear a mask, but to allow a vaccinated person to not wear a mask? My answer from a legal perspective is no. Brandon says he plans to survey his customers on social media. Customers come first, so if majority say they feel comfortable dining in without masks, then it most likely will be a go. But if we get a lot of uh, slack or negative feedback about it, then we'll revisit the situation. In Cudahy, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Taking a broader look at national retailers where masks are still required. They include Verizon stores, Target, Walgreens, Home Depot, Kohl's, and Lowe's, among others.